Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode, it's been a while, of my Let's Play series, slash roleplay series, of um, Elk Mountain. Um, as you can see here, I finally have collected my silage, loaded it up, and it is almost about done being fermented. Probably will be done fermenting within the next hour or so. Um, so we're just going to go preemptively uh, drive down to the We Buy Hay, because it'll be fully fermented by the time we get there. And we're looking at a little bit over $400 um, dollars per thousand liters. So we're looking at, you know, several thousand liters here. So this would be a nice little chunk of change. 400 or so by 31 would give us like 12000 bucks. Yeah, that would be kind of nice. And this is just one load. And we have another load to go get. Maybe a third partial load. A third load. So one way or another, we are going to be golden for the next... Um, bit here because we are finally bailing and saving our silage up every season and if we can make that uh, profitable into each season that would be great um, we really are here in Elk Mountain to get to those golden them thar hills so we are not at that stage yet but once we earn the money um, we could potentially buy some processing facilities to start making um, uh, a small mining venture on our property you know we know that the gold is in the mountains for sure but gold washes down the mountains in the form of streams rivers and lake beds so we live along a lake bed and we'd like to panhandle a little bit um in order to panhandle we will need to invest in some um sleuthing technology at the very least so we may have to get around to getting to a sleuther in order to do that a sleuther is that the word gold sleuth whatever um uh to do that so if we don't get our hands on one we may ask the local owner of the gold mine who is up in the mountains over there if we could borrow his um we will talk about that when the time comes i mean uh his name is um john fitch and john fitch uh wanted to bring me out to his land to, to observe the kind of operation he has going Knowing that I can't bring much more than a few thousand liters of dirt at a time to him, he thought it might be worthwhile for me to, if, at the very least, if I can't translate the gold um, profit dollars yet for myself, he says you can, every uh, few thousand liters of pay dirt I bring to him that they um, can process, he'll pay me for it and um, give me a portion of the proceeds of gold. And of course, he'll never give me the full amount of gold because he's going to be processing it from start to finish. But he offered that if I bring him um, uh, a, tra a trailer load of my own pay dirt from my area, because uh, he believes that my area may be a little bit uh, um, worthwhile, he'll pay me for the pay dirt. So that would be wonderful if he does participate with that. So before we go driving this in, actually, let's make sure we are almost at that stage. Um, we are not quite ready yet. So we're going to let that sit. And we'll check back in with you guys when it is fully fermented. But um, actually, no, we're not going to check in. But what we'll do is we'll continue to talk about um, the map here and what our um, John Fitch buddy had been talking to us about. Um, so we are in this area here. Since we're along the river here, he, he especially along these bends, he believes that there's some strong metals along the bends of these oxbow curves here um, of the river. And... His uh, operation is up here in the mine in the mountains, and he is digging in an old um, uh, family quarry that he's had for years. And he wanted me to participate in bringing him some from this bottom of the riverbed here, because the mountain waters run off of Bighorn Lake. There's an underwater aquifer that leads to some of these other streams here, and he believes that um, some of the water uh, itself will be profitable. So. Um, we're going to bring him some ventures of that. We would probably will look to turning this area here eventually if we could purchase the land, uh, which we do have land purchased here. Um, we will expand into this in time. Um, can we buy that land? Yeah, we, we're not there yet, but we, we can begin at some point, um, purchase this land piece, start converting it over other fields, and maybe even using it as a mining expedition for him. But in the meantime, he said for every few thousand, he'll, he'll pay us for it. Um, right now, the going rate is reasonable. Um, the going rate for, let's see, pay dirt. 
So um, right now we were we were digging up gravel and we were getting around um, $266 here. And he thinks that for each um, thousand liters that yeah, we bring him, you know, of dirt, it's not going to be worthwhile. But it, he'll be able to process that, and he believes that he can get a decent amount from that. So um, he'll probably pay us close to the the cost of uh, the of he'll pay, he won't pay as much for the dirt, but he will pay us um, a percentage of what he sells the gold for at the time of his sale. Um, right now, gold is selling. Um, Gold bars are selling for 26,000, but gold is selling for 35.98. So, for every gold bar that he makes out, we're going to make 10%. So, we won't make 10% of this. Um, this is for 1,000 liters, so a gold bar would be several of those bars from the done. So, we'll talk price when we get to him eventually. But once we start processing our dirt into um, actual um, material, uh, overburden. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but he will convert our dirt into um, concentrates probably, and so he'll pay us the going rate of concentrate um, uh, for us because that's what he's going to be processing. So we'll get there eventually. Um, as of right now, we are just waiting for this to turn over. Um, and oh, look at that! I didn't even know it strapped that way. That's kind of nice. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight nine bales here, right? I'm on top. One two three four five six seven, eight nine, and they're all one thousand liter bales. No, they're thirty five. Th oh my goodness, I overestimated or underestimated. So we are gonna have a reasonable ch chunk here. That's why I was at thirty five thousand. So yeah, we got a little over. We got twenty eight thousand and another thirty five hundred on our bell forks, which I think we have more than that on our bell fork here because I don't think it's counting these fully but we're gonna get a decent little chunk when we walk over to this we just need it to fully ferment we'll check in with you when it's ready alrighty we're back everyone we have a fully loaded fermented pile we are going to have to lay this down and let it out there we go. So yeah, we're gonna get around. Okay, that was a difference in price somehow. But whatever. Let's see here. There we go. Bam. All right. So yeah, thirteen thousand or so dollars. That's nice. So we're gonna make that trip a few more times. Um, maybe only two more times at the most, so we can make our cash flow here. Um, and move on with ourselves because we have quite a bit of silage to move um, And we're gonna set this up so that when we get there we will um, we'll load it up and we'll do another loop We'll, we'll check it back in with you guys um, with that uh, As soon as we're done selling because we want to see how much we get in the end So if we just can make what was that roughly that was Where's our money situation? We just made $14,000 with that right there, roughly. I mean, that wasn't just silage, right? That was, let's just say what we did so long for, say, $14,516. That's not bad. If we can get that with the next load, if around that, we could be rolling in some uh, good money. Uh, we could invest in some better equipment. Maybe, um, Maybe even a better tractor, because this tractor is great and all, but it's it's not that powerful. And it'd be nice if we had a more powerful tractor to do some bigger mowing, maybe, or a better wind rower. Um, you know, we'll look into that because uh, we are not quite at that stage of buying property, I don't think. Because the next closest property we can buy, like as we said, was this one here, and it requires forty-five thousand. Actually, we might be able to buy it, um, and, and that's tempting, very tempting to do. But we we won't be able to do um, the same amount. We won't be able to work that property the same way we will with this one. So we'll have to see with what we're going to do with the money. But for right now, we're going to do our selling, um, and we're going to check back in with you guys when all the selling is done. And we've gotten our all of our money, and we'll talk about what we might want to spend the money on or want to do next. Um, you know, it would be nice if we got um, into the hills over there and we discussed what we wanted to do for helping out um, contract-wise with digging up pay dirt, but we just don't have that equipment right now to, to do that. So 
we'll check into it. But for right now, we're going to continue to do the silage situation, and we'll we'll see what happens next. Maybe we'll we'll come across another project. Talk to you soon. Alright everybody, and now you've seen that we just sold off, whoa, our last of our silage bales. And we've earned 47, or we earned another 16 or so thousand. We have now a total of $47,873 with our money. And we don't know what to do with it yet. I would love to start moving on past um, doing grass. Like, I think we should still continue to do so because we just invested quite a bit into it. And as you can see here, it could be pretty lucrative. We make $30,000 per season um, that we harvest. And so that's totally worth it for the investment. We just got our money back for some of the things we bought over the course of this uh, harvest season. Um, there are upgrades I'd like to make. I'd like a bigger trailer, maybe a trailer that has a larger flatbed or a trailer that has a larger capacity. Um, I'd also like to move on from digging um, and bringing gravel to the uh, gravel pit train uh, thing. To, I'd rather move on from that. I'd rather not continue to dig up my property. I'd like to get to farming. And farming seems like it could be a rather good option because we have already seeders and fertilizers and things of that nature. So we could easily get started on creating another field um, to do that. Now we just don't have um, equipment to harvest from the field yet and that's kind of the biggest thing holding us back because we don't have another field planted either um, so when we get to our property you'll see that we just don't have the uh, space to harvest uh, to plant and or harvest another field we don't even have a plow to begin making another field so we really would have to consider buying another field first and then prepping that field for harvest and then harvesting the field with a harvester, buying a harvester, or harvesting from it, and bringing it to market. Um, and that's not out of the question, but right now we don't have any sales, we don't have any prospects. We could check in with um, the, uh, the buddy we knew from a few episodes ago who works at the um, uh, gas station across the road where he said that he'd keep an eye on for us um, for relatively cheap um, farm equipment I mean we have all the basics we need here this trailer may not hold a lot of weight 
but it does do the job in multiple facets for us and it is a good utility trailer for both bales and um, holding harvestable, harvestable products as we also have that other trailer that we could use as well now that other trailer holds significantly more and has a higher weight capacity but I found that trailer just to be a little cheaty and I'd rather not continue to use that trailer we might sell it off here and um, see what we can do um, I know we may be able to trade it in for some farm equipment um, and then we'll just have to make more trips mm, that may be worthwhile um, we also don't have like a farm vehicle and that's something that I considered getting into as well as buying myself a farmer truck getting rid of that trailer that we had over there even though it was relatively cheap and buying ourselves a truck that can do essentially the same job but that may not be worth our trouble here right now Oh, a little bumpy. Let's go ahead and shut this off. Because this field right here is great for her doing what we need to do. We are harvesting grass off of it each season, getting around 30000 bucks as we saw off of it. But we do not have a very large piece of property here. Um, this, this field here, we have a bunch of trees along this line here. We don't have much over here to work with. This here is too expensive. This we can afford, but it'll leave us with virtually nothing. This we can't afford. This we could afford. We could buy this round field. Um, this we can't afford. So we're kind of like stuck, you know, like we can't buy much property. That's not property we can we want to buy. We really don't have much that we could buy to stay competitive here. Um, we might have to consider buying this round field here and turning it into something. Um, I'm not sure what it is right now. Is it anything in particular? No, it doesn't appear to be a field that we can use, unless it's sorghum, I can't really tell. But it's not really of use to us right now, and I'd really like to get into harvesting um, some product. And for us to do that, we need a harvester. And, oop, that's forge harvester, and regular harvester, and we do have a cheap harvester. Don't get me wrong, we could get ourselves some really cheap um, harvesters here. We have a really slow harvester here with a 1.5 meter, sorry, 4... Uh, what kind of meter width is this? Does it say? Uh, doesn't say, but we're talking not very much at all. Um, so that is a harvester we can get, and even this one here. We can get a different harvester size header for it, but we'd have to spend the money on it. So this is the harvester we'd likely be getting off the field um, for our use, because it already comes with everything we need. And I think it outputs a little over 1,500 liters. Yep, 1,500 liters at a time, which our trailer can handle. The trailer that we currently have can handle... Well, this one can total 6,000. And like I said, we may get rid of this trailer because it's it's a nice value. Gets us some money. And this one can do the majority of our work. The other thing is it can hold, only hold 1.8 tons. This can hold 6.1 tons. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and sell it now. We want the money. We don't need it. We can get by with this. Um... So yeah, we're gonna keep that guy around. Um, so yeah, we, we, we really can't mess around too much, but we do have the other equipment pieces here. We can lime a field, we can seed a field. The only thing we don't have a way to deal with the field is we don't have a way to cultivate it or plow it at the moment, but that is not out of the question for us to get. If we get ourselves a cultivator, we have some cheap cultivators here we can use and for plows we have some cheap plows we could use here's a half meter plow here's a 0.7 meter plow here's a 1.1 meter plow we have other options here for plows so i'm not terribly concerned um, about our plow usage here um, the largest plow we could probably use will be this is 1.7 it's too high 130 one, one meter 0.4 meters probably this guy right here right yeah 0.4 meter plow it's the strongest we could use and then we still have our ability to cut so let, let's go take a look at that field see what state it's in at the moment we don't need a trailer with us let's go take a look at that other field because I'd like to start getting in harvesting of other things I'd also like to be in wood chipping um, and that's another option for us so I want to clear these trees off my property and turn it into wood chips. 
Um, and that looks like it's going to cost us, in case we want to get into that forest equipment. Here's a way to make wood chips for 25,000 bucks, but that's a little cheaty. We like to get a real wood chipper here. 64,000. Not out of the question for us at some point, but not in this particular season. Maybe next season we'll be selling another 30,000 off. So we're going to go ahead back here and see if there is any other fields for us here. Let's see. The round field is coming up on our left here. A bit of day's work of silent harvesting. So what about this field? Where do I get my access to this field? Not there. Ah, here we go. So this is where we get access to this field, and it looks like it's already limed. Um, that's good news. Let's see. Doesn't need lime. Doesn't need rolling. It's already prepped. All it needs to be is seeded, so we might buy this field and just get it seeded. Um, and what would it cost us to buy this field? Only 18,000 bucks? Yeah, we're gonna buy that. We're gonna buy that field, and we're gonna start seeding it. Because we can get started on seeding that, like, tonight. So, we're going to go ahead and also buy that other tractor harvester I was talking about because that's also that's a forest harvester, a harvester here because that's already ready to go. So we're not going to spend crazy amounts of money on this. Um, changes nothing. Changes nothing. I don't know what that does. I think headland management has something to do. Okay, we don't get any hard to choose ugly colors. Sure. All right, there we are. We got a harvester now. We have a second vehicle, and that's all we need to do to get started. Let's just get our field planted, seeded. We're going to grab um, something that we can also grab har uh, hay off of because we have the baler. Um, I believe we can um, do bales of hay with that baler. If not, um, we, may, um, we may have to just uh, forge wagon it. We might have the money for that, or we just grab another cheap baler. Um, I have to look into it. We'll, we'll test it out when we get that seed. We are not anywhere close to that. And right now it is December. I'm not even sure that actually we can do any seeding. We can't. But that's okay. We have a field and we can do some prep work for it um, come this uh, spring where we can then plant wheat, barley, canola, corn, sugar beets, sugar canes, grapes. No, so we're going to focus on doing. We'll get wheat down. It'll be a wheat field and we will do that in the future. So, we got, now that we've won a new field, we will check in with you guys when that field is planted and growing. And whatever comes first, whether it's silage or the uh, collection of hay and straw off that field, as well as also harvesting of the wheat, and that's where we'll be. Um, all right, everyone, it's been Chuck Thunder. Thanks for stopping by, as always. We are going to get to work, and we are going to finish getting fields prepped for the next season. Take it easy.